Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. When a narcissist realizes that you are no longer interested in them, it triggers a complex series of reactions. In this expanded explanation, we will delve deeply into what transpires when a narcissist senses your disinterest, emphasizing the emotional and psychological shifts that occur. This exploration is not only about understanding the narcissist's behavior, but also about empowering yourself with knowledge to navigate such challenging interactions. Let's address why you might find yourself in this situation. Engaging with a narcissist, whether in a personal or business context, can initially be very appealing. Narcissists often exude charm, charisma, and confidence, traits that can be highly attractive. They are adept at love bombing, a tactic where they shower you with excessive affection, attention, and admiration to win you over. This phase, however, is short-lived. The narcissist's ultimate goal is not to build a mutual, caring relationship, but rather to derive benefits for themselves as swiftly as possible. Whether those benefits are emotional, financial, or psychological, once the narcissist feels assured of your adoration, the dynamics shift dramatically. As the relationship progresses, you may notice a transition from love bombing to devaluing. During this phase, the narcissist's attitude towards you changes. The compliments may cease, replaced by criticism or indifference. You might find yourself being compared unfavorably to others or suddenly feeling inadequate. This devaluation is a control mechanism designed to undermine your self-esteem and increase your dependency on the narcissist's approval. Following the devaluation, the next stage is discarding. The narcissist, having extracted what they wanted from the relationship, starts to withdraw. This could manifest as emotional unavailability, physical distance, or even ending the relationship abruptly. It's important to recognize that this cycle of love bombing, devaluation, and discarding can be prolonged and may repeat several times, especially if the narcissist believes they can still benefit from your connection. However, when you show signs of moving on and it becomes evident to the narcissist that you are no longer interested, the situation escalates. At this juncture, the narcissist perceives your independence as a threat. Their reaction is fueled by fear, fear of losing control, fear of exposure, and fear of vulnerability. To a narcissist, your disengagement is not merely a personal rejection, but an existential challenge. In response, the narcissist may initially attempt to re-engage you through renewed love bombing. They might promise change, evoke nostalgia, or present grand plans for the future, all in an effort to reel you back in. However, when it becomes clear that their usual tactics are failing and you are indeed detaching permanently, they shift into panic mode. This panic stems from a deep-seated fear of exposure. Narcissists are acutely aware of their manipulative behaviors and dread the thought of being unmasked. Consequently, they may embark on a preemptive campaign to discredit you, sharing half-truths or outright lies to tarnish your reputation before you have the chance to reveal their true nature. This defensive aggression is a testament to their desperation. In their mind, it's imperative to neutralize you as a threat before you can inflict damage on their carefully curated image. When a narcissist realizes that you are no longer interested in maintaining a relationship with them, their response can be both strategic and damaging. This moment marks the beginning of a critical phase known as the discard phase, which often involves a smear campaign against you. This campaign is not a random act of spite, but a calculated move to isolate you and ensure that the narcissist retains control and comes out looking like the victim or the better person in the eyes of others. The smear campaign is a sophisticated mechanism where the narcissist enlists the help of others, often referred to as flying monkeys to spread negative and often false narratives about you. These individuals could be anyone from your close circle, including your children, co-workers, or employees, who are manipulated into siding with the narcissist against you. The goal is to make you feel isolated and unsupported, creating an environment where the narcissist has the upper hand. Covert narcissists, known for their subtlety and manipulation, may initiate these campaigns long before you decide to part ways. They are adept at disguising their true intentions under the guise of concern and care for others. For example, they may express exaggerated concern for someone's well-being to paint themselves in a positive light. 
This manipulation not only distorts the perception of those around them, but also ensures that their malevolent actions are not easily recognized. Their tactics are insidious, making them appear as caring individuals to the outside world, which in turn masks their manipulative and harmful behaviors. On the other hand, more overt types of narcissists may resort to more aggressive strategies, such as filing false legal documents or spreading damaging rumors through legal channels. Malignant narcissists, recognized for their viciousness, may escalate their tactics to stalking, harassment, or making egregious false accusations, such as labeling someone a criminal without basis. These actions reflect a desperate and dangerous attempt to maintain control and inflict pain on those who seek to distance themselves. This phase of interaction with a narcissist is fraught with challenges and can sometimes pose a real danger to the well-being of the individual seeking to leave the relationship. In the journey of overcoming the challenges posed by a narcissist, especially when they realize you are no longer interested, it becomes essential to adopt a proactive and strategic approach. This is where the slay method comes into play, a technique designed to empower you and shift the balance of power in your favor. The slay method comprises several key components, all apology strategy, leverage, anticipate, and focus on you. Let's delve deeper into each element. Firstly, building a strong strategy is paramount. It's about having a clear plan of action and understanding the potential moves of the narcissist. By doing so, you can stay one step ahead. Leverage involves using the information and resources at your disposal to strengthen your position. Anticipation is about predicting the narcissist's next moves and preparing yourself accordingly, ensuring you're always two steps ahead. Lastly, focusing on yourself is crucial. It means prioritizing your well-being, adopting an offensive stance, and cultivating a winning mindset. By embracing the slay method, you equip yourself with the tools necessary to navigate the tumultuous waters of dealing with a narcissist. Remember, their attempts to gaslight you, guilt trip you, or throw tantrums are their ways of trying to regain control. However, just like a toddler throws a tantrum before giving in, Narcissists too exhibit their most challenging behavior right before they're ready to relent. This method is not just about combating the narcissist's behavior, it's about reaffirming your strength, resilience, and capability to rise above the situation. So, I encourage you to affirm your determination by commenting below, I can slay this. Because, indeed, you can. As we conclude this discussion, I urge you to engage with our community here. If you found value in this advice, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Your interaction not only supports the channel, but also helps spread this empowering message to others who might be facing similar challenges. Remember, today marks the perfect opportunity to start negotiating your best life. I look forward to seeing your victory stories in the comments and in our upcoming videos.